Every thought expressed in words is a force whose action is limitless. Leo Tolstoy Words are a way of interacting with the world. They connect the visible and invisible world. This is a magical tool available to man. Penetrating into tangible reality, words carry intangible ideas that have a huge impact on our lives. Therefore, words are a real force that changes the surrounding reality. People usually underestimate the power of words and are careless about what they mean. The ability to clearly express your thoughts and use words correctly can make the life of any person happy. You just need to learn to see the living power of words and know how to interact with it. Then this power can change one's life for the better. But what should you say to become happier and richer and how to choose the right words that will bring health, joy and prosperity? In this video, we will tell you how to change your life with the help of words. With words, we describe the world and influence its changes. By speaking in a certain way, we begin to perceive the world in accordance with what we are talking about and according to our description of the world. This is how each of us builds a reality around ourselves which we talk about every day. Regardless of our faith, words influence our lives. Being a sound wave with a given purity, words make everything around vibrate in accordance with the vibrations of our inner nature. Ancient teachings say that man is an immortal spirit who has incarnated into a physical body and is his higher self. The higher self gives a person the power to live and create in the physical world. When you speak with the voice of spirit, the physical world changes according to its will and turns into a divine garden, filling your life with beauty and splendor. But if you speak randomly and thoughtlessly, then your life may lose meaning, become heavy and empty. A world is forming around you in which you feel bad and uncomfortable living. Let's look at the issue of the power of words from a scientific point of view. Psychiatrist Carl Gustav Jung once said, I am not what happened to me, I am what I decided to become. According to Carl Jung, the strength of our intention contained in words does not depend on what life situation we find ourselves in. This power depends on who we feel we are at a given moment in time. Carl Jung said that the subconscious has a direct influence on our lives and our behavior. How we actually feel and perceive ourselves is in the subconscious, which speaks to us through feelings. Then we put these feelings into words. It doesn't matter what is happening in our lives now. It is important what feelings we put into our words and what vibration these words bring into the world. Through words, your subconscious changes the reality in which you live in accordance with the feelings of yourself embedded in the subconscious. You can say that I want to be happy and I constantly talk about it but for some reason I don't become happy. Words filled with feelings will begin to change your life if you believe in what you say. It is faith that gives words the real power of change. The manifestation of faith in a person's life is sincerity. Speak sincerely and believe in what you say. Instead of saying I want to be happy, Say with all sincerity and faith, I feel that I am happy. This way, there will be real power behind your words that will change not only your life but also the world around you in accordance with what you feel and what you believe. The ancient sages said that through feelings a person gains experience. Faith is born in your mind. Feelings are born in your soul. By connecting your mind and soul, you can speak with feelings and faith in your words. This way, you will become the rightful master of your life. Your words will express the will of your spirit, your higher self, which has the power to change your life and the world around you. Let's look at a few examples of how words can influence your life. Interaction with yourself. By complaining about the world and yourself, you ruin your life. Realize that the complaint comes from your feelings of self-pity. You are ready to blame everyone and everything in the world instead of starting to change something in reality. With your complaints, you concentrate on the feeling of your helplessness and weakness. You become weak and unhappy. Focus on your capabilities. Words have the power to express your will to change. Replace the phrase, I don't like this with, I can influence this and change the situation for the better. This is how you declare to the world and to yourself that you are the master of your destiny and that you are able to cope with what is happening in life at the moment. 
no matter how difficult it is, don't concentrate on the problem. Through words filled with a sincere desire to change the situation, the force will come to you, which will protect you and help you move towards your destiny. Romantic Interaction Often in couples, people say hurtful and rude words to each other. Words cause pain, confuse life guidelines, and make life together meaningless. Listening to cruelty, a person begins to believe that he or she is weak and infirm. A person becomes hardened oneself and one's heart is filled with malice. Instead, you need to speak words of support and understanding to each other, filling them with the power of your divine essence. When speaking to your partner, speak loving words to his or her higher self without paying attention to the external image of the partner. Talk to her or him about strength and possibilities, about purity and honesty, about internal and external wealth, about bright and warm feelings and mutual understanding. Be supportive and be vocal about it. Instead of, I hope you can do it, say, I believe you can do it because I feel the power in you. I'm always there and ready to help. This way, you will directly connect to the divine essence of your partner through your higher self. Following this, the power of unity and creation will come into your relationship and you will become truly happy. Relationships with children. Don't forget that you are the whole world to your children. Children themselves may not realize it, but they always copy the behavior of their parents and repeat the words of the adults around them. Therefore, it is extremely important to speak to children with warmth and respect. Remember that the world is a mystery. Try not to let your child forget about the magic of the world around him. Read good fairy tales to children, explaining their meaning in simple words. Talk to children about miracles, kindle their interest in learning and creating, tell them about goodness and that the world is limitless and full of mysteries. Tell your child more often that he or she is one with all of nature and with everything that exists on our beautiful planet. Children should know that our planet is alive. Then they will be able to understand why it needs to be protected. Instead of saying it's difficult, we we'll say, the time will come when you will solve this riddle. Don't tell your child, it's your fault. Say, I'm very worried about you when you behave like this. So the light in the divine essence of the child will shine even more. With the help of your kind, sincere and sensual words, the child's desire to live, as well as love and respect for himself or herself and others, will never fade away. It is adults who teach children to see the world in one way or another. Create a magical world around your child and with the help of your words filled with love, teach him or her to see beauty with his or her eyes and feel it with his or her heart. Health According to ancient teachings, man is an immortal essence or spirit and one's body is a temporary shell whose life currents originate in the inner essence of man. The spirit is capable of changing not only the state of a person's physical body, but also the world where this body exists. Believing, speaking and doing in accordance with your faith and words is the path to inner and outer healing. Negative feelings such as hatred and anger block the flow of life from your inner self and your body begins to be ill. Words spoken under the influence of negative feelings significantly worsen the health of your body. To be healthy, you need to be kind to yourself and others. It is necessary to talk about strength and health, about kindness and the desire to live. Instead of saying, I hate myself, people, my job or something else, say, I am grateful that I have everything I need to be healthy and happy. When you think and speak positively, you heal yourself and the world around you, making it a better place. Thus, your health directly depends on how and what you say. Finance. Remember that money is only a tool Money should not be the purpose of your life, but it should serve your purpose in life. Strive for goals that benefit the entire society and that serve the good of all people. A living and feeling heart filled with philanthropy will teach you to express your thoughts clearly and wisely. It is words that will help you declare your will to create for the good of the world and all humanity. What makes a person poor is the insatiable desire to consume. Rich people know how to create and order the things. 
instead of saying, I want a lot of money to buy this thing, say, I have an idea that will make me and the world richer. This way, you will attract finances into your life that you can use for the benefit of all people. Don't forget that words and their power are as eternal as the person himself. Any word you say remains in the world forever, influencing others and their actions. If you want to live in a happy and friendly world, focus your attention on the beautiful manifestations of a person, imagination, creativity, and kindness. Believe in positive changes yourself and inspire those around you to make these changes. Words filled with sincere desire, care and careful attitude towards the world allow us to build our common cozy home. Hermes Trismegistus said, Man is a mortal god, but the heavenly god is an immortal man. According to the words of this ancient sage, every person is god incarnate on earth. Within you is the infinite power of your eternal essence, which interacts with the world with the help of your body, mind and words. This is how the divine law of evolution is established in the world, the basis for which is the single good for all humanity. If you speak ill of the world and complain about it, it becomes like that, for this is the will of your essence. The good in the world is diminishing. Because of this, it becomes worse for you and everyone around you. If you speak badly about yourself, you make yourself weak and helpless. The power goes out of your life and you become unhappy. To avoid complaining about the world and fate, awaken your inner immortal essence. After this, you will feel the lightness, freedom and love that your spirit will bestow on your life. This way, your life will be filled with the knowledge of immortality. In immortality, you will become God. To be God means to be responsible for your words. Talk like God and live like God. Because this is your destiny. Because essentially, you are God. Words change the world, which is a reflection of the thoughts and words of all people living on earth. The words you speak affect your life and the life of humanity. By speaking correctly, you can become stronger, improve relationships with loved ones, raise happy children, and improve your health, well-being, and financial situation. Focus your attention on positive changes in the world and talk about these changes to others. This way you can influence the speed of these changes making the world a better and more welcoming place every day. Thanks to words, you introduce intangible ideas into the world, which are a manifestation of the will of your immortal essence. Thus, a magical act occurs. Through words, you connect the manifested world with the unmanifested. By expressing in words the will of your inner eternal essence, you transform the world around you into the divine garden of Eden, where your true eternal home is located. With the help of words, you influence your life and your destiny. Words are a tool given to you by infinity to deify your surroundings and everyday life. 